So we're out here at Beasley Park. This is the beginning of a three mile sand fencing project that the county got some funding from National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, as well as uh, some matching funds from the Tourism Development Department. Um, utilizing a lot of volunteers, specifically trees on the coast to get this done. Um, again, it's a lot of material. We've been out the last uh, two days staging it all and, and we're well underway today. Learned a little bit as we go, but so far it's, it's looking really, really good. Um, over the next few months, we're gonna see quite a bit of sand accumulate around these, these fences, uh, which will provide really awesome habitat for a lot of the native species that we have here, but it'll also provide uh, a larger dune, which is a good line of defense for some of our upland structures. So a lot of the condos that these dunes build up uh, in front of provides that wall when a tropical storm and some surge and things come through, it prevents that water from making it up to the structure. What are some of those uh, native species? Um, some of those native, we got the turtles, everybody loves the turtles. While the turtles aren't necessarily making up into the dune, the dune sand is actually helping to nourish the beach. Uh, there's also beach mice, there's a bunch of different nesting birds, and a lot of those that I just named are actually endangered species. So if we can create more habitat for those species, it's good for everything. And there's a right and wrong way to put these fences up, right? There actually is. Um, there's this, this, it seems like a, a not exact science, but these fences actually go at about a 45 degree angle. Um, and as the, the sand is blown across the beach, it actually gets caught in these sands and builds up pretty quickly. There's some fences that were deployed. Uh, this exact project actually was completed back in 2013 and all of those fences are actually buried in the dune. So they're absolutely working and we're hoping that these fences will uh, have the same outcome here in the next couple years.